Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here. I got another tutorial for you today. This one's a bit more basic and uh, I think some of you already uh, have used these before, but I uh, realize I haven't done any videos with these adjustable shackles, so I figured I would do so. So as you can see, this is just a simple uh, Cobra Stitch bracelet with an adjustable uh, shackle. And these are great because uh, if you're making bracelets either for sale or just you know for yourself, uh, you have three different settings on here, so you can you know, adjust uh, the circumference of the bracelet as needed. And uh, yeah, I figured this would be a good chance to show you guys uh, how I would do a bracelet with this. And uh, you know, there are other ways of doing it, but I just want to show you uh, what I thought was a pretty good way. All right, so uh, that being said, we're gonna get into, into the tutorial. And before we do so though, I want to take time to just say uh, that the paracord provided in this video was from paracordplanet.com. And uh, they were nice enough to send me uh, some samples and stuff to use in my videos. Uh, they've got a really great selection of paracord and uh, paracord accessories. So I do suggest you um, check out their website because a lot of you guys do ask me, you know, where to get you know good quality paracord. And uh, you know, after sampling some of their stuff, uh, I can definitely say they are a good, great supplier. And uh, we'll put a promo code down here, and you get a slight discount. All right. So uh, that being said, we will get into the tutorial. All right guys, so I got my paracord set up and I've got my uh, 550 paracord, I have about seven feet here. I've got it fed through the larger um, you know, hole here of the adjustable part of the shackle. Sorry, this is the shackle, this is the adjuster. And I've got that right in the midpoint here. Now this is just uh, one of the adjustable shackles I had kicking around, uh, you know, my box of paracord stuff, but you can uh, find some much better quality ones. I'll link it down below. So now, uh, yeah, as I said, I've got this fed through to the midpoint, and um, I've tried this a couple ways where you have a double cow, or sorry, a single cow hitch on this side. Just ended up looking a little messy because I had um, two strands passing through here instead of one. So let's do it this way. It's a little more finicky, but I think at the end result was better. So uh, now that we have this passed through, we're going to find our other end here, and we're going to feed it through just the uh, shackle like this. Pull everything through. And make sure there's not nothing twisted up. So now here is where you determine your length of your bracelet. Like this, right? So this will be our length. I'm just kind of estimating. And from here, it's very simple. We just tie our, uh, start tying our Cobra stitch. Okay, so this is the part that's a little finicky. So again, with the uh, cover stitch, I'm just going to do right over the core like this. Like so. And then I'm going to do the left over top of that and then pull this through here. So we all know how to do that. We all should be all very familiar with the uh, cover stitch at this point. So now this part is where it gets a little finicky. So it's going to want to move around like that. Now by the time you tie your second knot, you should be able to tighten it. So we're going to do the second knot like so. Like this. Pull that through like so. And now here, if you kind of pull down on it, it'll adjust itself a bit. And cinch that tight. And then pull this down. Okay, so and again, uh, always check your length afterwards because I may have changed. Right, and that is how we start it off. And from here, it's very simple. We just continue our uh, Cobra stitch, right? So, like so. And I'm just gonna continue weaving my way down my core. I like to push everything up every now and then, like so. I'm gonna continue weaving down. Okay, we're just gonna go all the way down to the end. And uh, yeah, we'll work our way down our core, okay? Okay, so I've woven down almost all the way uh, to the end. Do one last knot here. And there we go. So from here, um, you can end it here and just snip and singe a uh, little you know, excess here. But what I'm gonna do is just pass the, uh, see I have this little gap here? I'm just gonna pass the strands of paracord through the center here, like so. You don't have to do this. Oh, we don't want to do that. Okay, keep it on the front here. You don't have to do this, but uh, 
And I figure why not just fix that little gap in there. And then for this side, we'll do the same. Push this through here. And that way, um, when we snip and singe, see we snip and singe, we're going to, the, the melted end will be hidden under here, right? So I'm just gonna cut off the excess and I melt that down and we will be finished. All right, and there we have it, we are done. So as you can see, I snipped and singed the paracord here and it's kind of hidden now behind when you're wearing it. It's also very comfortable, it doesn't touch the skin. Of course, if you prefer to make it easier, you can always just snip and singe the paracord on the sides as we always do. All right, so this has been the Cobra Stitch bracelet with the adjustable shackle. And uh, again, if you guys are wondering where to get paracord and paracord accessories, check out uh, Paracord Planet. Um, they're nice enough to send me some stuff every now and then so I can use in my videos. And uh, yeah, I'll have all those necessary links down below. All right, so if you guys have any questions or comments that you're not sure of, please do leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. So uh, hit that subscribe button. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.